We're celebrating today uh, three years of robotic um, surgical service at the Norfolk and Norwich and behind me um, one of my colleagues uh, Omar Al Qadi is, is um, taking a patient's bladder out for, for bladder cancer. Um, so what you can see in the background is a patient on the operating table attached to a, a, a forearm surgical robot and the surgeon is actually sitting in the corner slightly uh, uh, away from the action uh, but his movements that uh, he's providing on the controls of the console are replicated by the arms of the robot which you see attached to the patient uh, in the background and the benefit of this uh, machine uh, in terms of helping us with minimally invasive surgeries the surgeon has a, a, a 3D view because the robot has two camera lenses which provide depth perception and allows us to uh, place stitches and and uh, instruments more precisely uh, in, in, inside the body. Uh, and also the instruments have wrists on the end. So rather than a traditional keyhole surgical laparoscopic instrument, which is a long straight metal instrument, uh, which minimizes uh, the, the freedom of movement that you have, this instrument's got wrists, which allows us to practically replicate the surgeon's movements with their hands inside the patient's body. And that makes the surgery easier, more precise, uh, and functional outcomes and recovery are, are better than the traditional open surgery. Three years ago, at the beginning of February uh, 2016, we started uh, introducing this, this um, type of surgery for our urology patients, and in that time, we, we've uh, operated on over 750 patients with this machine, and, and that means that more patients have, have, have uh, benefited from the advantages of the minimally invasive surgery, the improved um, recovery, and the better functional outcomes. Mr. Rochester said uh, he would operate uh, using the robot. The benefit would be um, that the recovery time would be much quicker. Uh, and to my amazement, he actually said if we operate on the Friday, you should be returning home on the Saturday morning. The event here is fascinating. Um, from my personal viewpoint, it allows me to see what was actually underway. I had no idea that uh, the robot would look anything like it does. What we see is patients getting better quicker, uh, feeling more recovered when they come back to, um, to a clinic compared to patients who've had old-fashioned uh, um, open surgical procedures. Interestingly, I've had one patient recently who, who was a retired surgeon and, and he himself um, uh, was reminiscing about you know, how, how surgery was 15, 20 years ago uh, and, and you know, what a sea change there's been from a first-hand experience, so that was quite interesting. It's very interesting undergoing uh, an operation if you've been a surgeon yourself. And of course you contrast it with what you actually know personally. Now, I in the 1970s were doing a very similar operation to the one I had done. Uh, but then it was done, as we would then say, as an open procedure with one long uh, incision going through the muscle, cutting the muscles. Whereas uh, done robotically, uh, there are five little port sites, really just stabs into the thing and that leads to so much less tissue trauma and therefore to the very rapid recovery that we enjoy with the newer techniques. The surgery itself becomes more precise uh, and you feel like you're doing a better, a better job for the patient at the, end, at the end of the day. Most of Mr Rochester's patients, including me, are out the day after operation. I mean, it's quite extraordinary. 